Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, it's been a while since I've uh, done a video on things to find, and I've got two great galaxies for you tonight. Uh, we've got M81 and M82. Now, M81 is what's known as the Bode's Galaxy, and in fact, it's one of the brightest galaxies up there. Now, M81 is a spiral galaxy, a bit like our own Milky Way galaxy, and it's got uh, 12... But it's, it's roughly about 12 million light years away, so it's a fair old distance, and contains well over 250 billion stars. Now, not too far from M81, we've got M82, with the now somewhat taboo title of the Cigar Galaxy. But I always find it looks a little bit like a surfboard, or maybe even a spear, like a uh, spearhead, something like that. But... Uh, M82 is what's known as a starburst galaxy. Again, it's round about uh, 12 million light years from Earth and contains an estimated 30 billion stars. Now, what's also a bonus when viewing these two galaxies is you can usually get them both in the, in the same field of view. Now, even though the galaxies may look close together, in fact, they're, it's a bit coincidental because they, even though they're both roughly 12 million light years from Earth, they're actually about 12 million light years away from each other. Quite a fair old distance. Well, now you're a little more familiar with what you're actually going to be looking at. Let's have a look and just see exactly where to look in the sky and to find these two great, relatively easy to find galaxies. Now, to find M81 and M82, we're going to use our old favourite, Ursa Major. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with Ursa Major by now. Um, also known as the Frying Pan, the Big Dipper, um, the Saucepan, <laughs> all sorts of names for it. Uh, so, once you've found um, Ursa Major, what I want you to do then is identify these two stars here. They're like the uh, bottom of the saucepan, if you see it as a saucepan, if you like. Uh, we've got Fad and Dube just here. Now, these are a great pointer to um, the M81 and M82 because if we were to draw a line uh, through these two, it's roughly about 10 degrees. But if we continue another 10 degrees to about 20 degrees from Fad, um, right there at the end of that line, if I switch the galaxies on, um, you'll see, if I turn the line off now, right just here, we can see, oops, let me just turn the line off, sorry about that, turn them off, um, that there is the, the Bose Galaxy or the uh, M81 and M82. Now, incidentally, it's roughly um, a fist, if you hold a fist up at arm's length, so you identify these two stars and imagine this continuous line going through these two stars. And if you hold your fist up on uh, Dube, your last nuttle um, on this line with these two stars will be a good indicator of where to put your finder scope as where you're going to find um, M81 and M82. It's a really easy method of finding these two fine galaxies. Now, I do really encourage you to try this, uh, this system of measuring with your hands. Um, but there is a slight little learning curve to it, or a little few hints that it is important to do while, um, to, to, or to get a more success rate. And that is to not do your alignment away from the telescope. In other words, you're starting to do all this and then you go up to the telescope. You, don't, you want to do what I call the binocular method, where you bring the optics to your eye, not your eye to the optics. So get your telescope ready roughly where you're going to be aiming it, uh, or, or should I say the finder scope. Now do your measurement while you're at the telescope, and now fix your gaze on that particular point of the sky and bring the finder scope to your eye. Don't take your eye to the finder scope. It's a little method that you use with binoculars and you're going to have um, a lot more success rate doing this than just like uh, miles away from the telescope and then fishing about all over the sky. Don't forget also, as always, use low power. This means your uh, 20 millimeter eyepiece and above. Uh, put your Barlows in uh, the bottom drawer. You're not going to need them for when you're looking for galaxies. Always low power. And another thing to remember um, is when you're actually just 
what I call fishing about a little bit. Remember, it's tiny, tiny movements of the telescope. Uh, moving a telescope a couple of inches is, is covering so much night sky because of the magnification. So real fine adjustments. Do you measure in, um, get set up, do you measure in, and then real tiny, fine, fine adjustments. Having a nice smooth uh, mount does help. And also, if you've got slow motions, this is the time to start uh, fishing around with the slow motion controls. Again, take your time, low power, and you're gonna have a lot more success that way. Well, best of luck having a look for these two amazing galaxies. Um, now, you shouldn't have much trouble seeing them. Uh, a, a lot of people ask, well, well, I live in Bortle Sky, whatever. Uh, well, I live in Bortle Sky is round about seven. And I have no problem seeing them in this uh, five inch reflector here. So, um, but just about any optical aid is going, to, is going to show you these two galaxies. But one thing to do bear in mind, the pictures I have shown you are photographs. That's not what you're going to see in the telescope. Um, it's going to be something more like this. Uh, even though, even so, th this is still a little bit bright. They are going to be a little bit more faint than this, but they are a great thing to see, especially the Cigar Galaxy. It just looks like this strange ghostly shard uh, hanging up there in the night sky. Well, that's it for another video, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. It really does help if you hit that thumbs up button. It helps with the YouTube's algorithm and lets other people uh, know about the channel, which really does help me out. So I really would appreciate a thumbs up. In the meantime, folks, go and find yourself a couple of galaxies and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.